don't want the NLC chairman, uh, Joe Ajero. They don't want them. All of us know now that I way uh, police say me, uh, make you answer to them. Say if they have a terrorist for their labor house, uh, where you go with the lawyer, Femi Falana, uh, then clear them, then come out. In order for eight hours, they invite them again. You understand? Uh, now, where we did now, whether I don't answer that one, I don't know. Uh, hey. News busting out is that they have arrested him at Nam the Aziki Way International Airport here in Abuja, where him they travel, say, so make you go attend to official matter where the union, the organized level, know about. As my guy enter airports, then William, you know who William, no be police, who na DSS. <laughs> Then carry DSS, grab my man. Why on they carry DSS? Now say police don't too small to arrest. I don't understand. Why involve the DSS? What happened? They don't carry DSS and they don't worry my man. Me no be like say they talk with na no no. Help me say as they take talk. Em. When we come back, let us have some discussions. Over watch. Operatives of the Department of State Services have arrested the President of the Nigeria Labour Congress, Mr. Joe Ajero. Mr. Ajero was arrested a few hours ago at the Namdi Azikwe International Airport in Abuja while preparing to board a flight to the UK for an official engagement. Although no reasons have been given for the arrest, the head of the media and corporate communications, Mr. Benson Upa, confirmed the development to our Labour correspondent, Friday Okerigwe, describing it as another attack on organized labor. Meanwhile, the head of the information on the NLC, Mr. Benson Ukwa, has described the latest development as unjust and representing a clear violation of the rights to freedom of association and expression, fundamental pillars in any democratic society. I want to tell you that, that the security agencies are coordinated by the Office of the National Security Advisor. That is the present practice. So it is, it amounts to Sixpence and CC to say it is not the uh, it is it, it is not the DSS that arrested him. It is the Office of National Security Advisor. I am not aware that that the, that answer has a squad independent, independently of the other arms NIA, DIA, uh, DSS. I mean, you name them and uh, others. So I'm not aware that they are. I mean that ONSA has a unique squad. If they do have, that would be quite new to me. So all we know is that Comrade Joajero has been arrested and is being held against his uh, wish by the Nigerian state. That is what I know. It is in the character of a jittery state to embark on this kind of journey, uh, harassing people, intimidating people, uh, in order to have the clear path of way to continue with their obnoxious policies. But I want to tell you that NLC will not be swayed. Uh, NLC will not be distracted. But more importantly, the Nigerian spirit that is in, inherent in all of us, we Nigerians. We Nigerians are not going to be broken. You don't see them. Uh, hey, they don't William. Uh, as in William now. Uh, National Security Advisor. I don't know whether that one they claim say, uh, uh, you know, no, you know. In fact, I don't even know all the security architectures. They just they talk, yow, yow, yow. DSS, they talk, say, in a command from NSA. Uh, NSA, I don't know what they, they talk their own. Police never talk anything because now police give the second invitation. How DSS take enter this matter? I don't know. Now, on I see why they make that uh, DSS boss resign. I don't know whether they perform or you know they perform, I don't know. But they don't carry that one come out. Carry person with the trust. Wait for you do their bidding. Put inside. Now in your screen. You don't go with the NSC chairman now. You understand? They never told them to court. Nothing, nothing. We never hear anything. All of you will always come the talk. See, Tinebu is a democrat. Tinebu, now so democracy. Be. See, make a claim. Now. We, in fact, we are in a democracy. But in a military regime. When I see this, Tinebu, when I see Okay, this guy is not any civilian government too. Only a military government. He wants to shut everybody down. Okay, oh, no, 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 the agenda. The agenda is everybody that is of headache to this government. Shut them down. Seize their voice. They must not talk again. And I 
I'm not here and kepu kepu. Say this NLC now. The war of Polar this man now, Joe Ajero, based on saying that man, the one carry Yoruba man puts there. Where they trust to they do their bidding. Uh -huh. Another agencies will say they go give them. They go find person where they, they go knock the person enter there. They shot everybody. Imagine say they capture NLC. It don't finish now. <laughs> it don't finish. Oh, 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 now where we there now? Now where we there now? They don't they will lay everybody now one after the other. In a democracy. In your car, what democracy called Bala and other thing. They say you fought for democracy that time. Now you they shout for Abacha. You they shout for IDB. You they shout for everybody where they shout. So then you say you go on exile. You run away. Then come back from exile and contested for governor of Lagos State. And Bezos say you be Democrats. You they, you, they, you, they, you they fight for the people. Then give you governorship. You collect her for eight years. Based on your fights as a Democrat. What happened? Have you changed? Eh? The person that fought the military people. Say the rightest must be done. Is not the one oppressing the people. Oh, what I had you at old age. You fought at a young age. Now we'll be saying, now you're supposed to arrange this contract. You can't deal with the Nigerian people at old age. Can even MZ? What sort of wickedness is this? You want to seize all of our voice. The way you were speaking that time. Now the way we will talk now. You say make no talk. You don't talk during your own time. Eh? And I've seen another threaten. In fact, they have placed all, all their members on red alert. They say, release our president unconditionally. Else, I got shot to down this country. They will shut it down. The last time they went on protest, they showed that the national agreed. Everybody was shouting. Why would they show that the national agreed? Do they have the right to show that the national agreed? Who, who gave them the constitutional right? They don't want to now. Leave this man. He should not fight for the people again. Although I know say they fight for people, they fight for the people, they fight for himself too. Because this NLC will not to trust them. But as it stands now, the NLC leave them as he be. Let them fight their fights. Don't come and shut them up. If you are privy to any information that we are not privy to, as you don't arrest them, charge them to court. Why are you detaining them? Why are you keeping them? Why? Can you give me an explanation? Why? So they want to shut everybody down. If they come after me tomorrow, me I'm not going to be surprised. Hey, but when they don't try them, now I'm mad they strike all of them. See, go and ask of the long to do of Arachuk. <laughs> if I invoke that deity, you go clear them all. Uh, you, you calm down. Uh, that deity, I go. <laughs> Got <laughs> are, are, are you getting it? So, so what was happening? This is not a laughing matter. Let's tell ourselves the truth. If you have anything against NLC, come out straight. When I don't first start with terrorists, if they finance terrorism, who give her money to finance terrorism? Where you see the money? Are you think to finance terrorism is, is one naira? Eh? From there, from there. When I don't invite them again now. I, I, I don't know whether I don't go answer that one. I'll be don't give it that way go come. Now DSS. DSS don't enter. Very soon, Amigo enter. On top one man. On top one union. Make the NSC no exist. What's up? It's alright. Now, the matter is to make a carry con give now. So, our NLC president now is in detention. Uh, so, if that one can be shut down, anybody in this country can also be shut down. Put that into your brain. Make our IRAs uh, be on top of this matter. Be at alert because where we there now, eh? My jungle. <laughs> I go see on a later. For over a decade, this has been the birthplace of innovation. Innocent Vehicles is a testament to resilience, employing international best practices to create more than just a car. Every vehicle here tells a story of durability, fuel economy, and safety. Crafted with the African spirit, the Nigerian heart. These vehicles surrounding me embody the unique concept of regionalization, each one designed to cater to the tastes and preferences of our people. From the streets in Nigeria to the terrains of the Sahara, these vehicles are designed for our roads, for our people. This is more than a vehicle. It's a symbol of our progress, our resilience, our collective success story. Your feedback drives us to continuously innovate and improve. Innocent Vehicle, the pride of African roads. I beg. If you like this update, subscribe to my channel. 
I beg, I beg, Bika, Edger, Da Allah. <laughs> Subscribe.